What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'll talk about the new update we received for Red Dead Online. This is update 1.27. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description below. I'm going to kind of go over the high points if I go over every single detail. There's a lot of stuff within these patch notes. I don't want to bore you for 15, 20 minutes. But the video is going to be a bit longer than normal. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Like I said, if you want to read over everything, it will be linked down in the description. We did get the Blood Money update today. Also, we got new pamphlets and clothing items, uh, the new nominated series, new daily challenges and rewards. Uh, also, improvements to the free roam mission giver menu and more. The Quick Draw Club was added today. Quick Draw Club 1 is out. It costs 25 gold bars if you want to get all of the uh, rewards, but there are free rewards within this as well, and you will make your 25 gold bars back through uh, completing the Quick Draw Club 1. Uh, this will go from today, July the 13th, until August the 9th. Then, of course, it will be uh, um, the Quick Draw Club 2, 3, and 4, kind of so on, until the end of October. Uh, crimes are new missions in free roam. Today's update features a range of crimes, including three multi-part crime contracts. Also, there's new awards have been added into Red Dead on Online with several existing awards receiving updates. Uh, some new clothing items also today. And of course, you know, a lot of new things within the Outlaw Pass or the Quick Draw Pass itself. Excuse me, it's going to take me a while to remember Quick Draw Pass instead of Outlaw Pass. Also, there's new several or several new uh, pamphlets you can buy from the fence. There are pamphlets like cut, uh, Cook Multiple Meats, fat, Fast Travel from Your Wilderness Camp, Ammo Capacity for Shotguns, Rifles, Pistols, Varmint Rifle, Repeater, Revolver, and Bow. These are all fairly expensive, usually about 900 bucks plus, but some of these are very handy. So if you'd like to check those out, go by the fence and you can look at those uh, in the pamphlet section. Also, so we have some gameplay improvements. Nominated a series now allows players to nominate specific modes and maps to join a series made up of ones nominated by other players in the in that series. Red Dead Online will no longer be supported on Windows 7. He said it will still play play the same no matter uh, kind of you know if you're still using it or not. But new updates will be downloadable. But any new Windows 7 specific bugs that are discovered will not be addressed. Uh, Red Dead Online 2 will also have the DLSS uh, NVIDIA for all Windows users that have the NVIDIA graphics cards. Uh, some other things they did today was some multiple issues with players being unable to load in, uh, fixed issues that resulted in players being unable to get back into Red Dead Online after a disconnect in the character creation screen. Also, they fixed an issue that resulted in players getting stuck on the black screen after accepting an invite. Fixed several issues with collector's maps not unlocking for purchase after meeting the requirements. Uh, the uh, potent snake oil and potent miracle tonic incorrectly uh, reduced the, uh, after the player's legendary bounty mission with Carmilla Montez. Also, they fixed an issue that resulted in players losing functionality during legendary bounty missions, fixed an issue that caused bounty missions not to launch properly, fixed an issue that resulted in players incorre incorrectly receiving uh, one buck for returning a bounty target alive, fixed an issue that caused objectives to not progress correctly during the bounty hunter missions, uh, several other issues with bounty hunter problems, some UI uh, mission or UI issues, excuse me, in free roam missions. Uh, fixed an issue causing the caravan to get stuck in free roam missions and the caravan escort. Uh, also, fixed an issue that resulted in players getting stuck on a black screen in co op. Fixed an issue that caused mid mission cutscenes not to play as expected in co op. Also, fixed some issues that caused players to incorrectly award MVP at the end of showdown. There's a lot of small fixes like this in free roam showdown series. Uh, just missions across the game, playing with friends, you know, the, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some other things they did today, awards and daily challenges fixed an issue that caused daily challenge bounties completed with one real world hour to complete incorrectly. Fixed an issue that caused the daily challenge bounty, bounties collected to not increment correctly. Also fixed an issue that caused daily challenge drink on strong moonshine to not work correctly. Uh, they also had some different platform fixes, but they did, did have some general platform fixes. Uh, fixed several crashes in Red Dead Online pretty much for all platforms. Uh, for when it comes to items, uh, clothing, emotes, that kind of thing, they fixed issues that caused players' saved outfits to be deleted. I will say the issue I had today when I played, I hopped on, played a couple missions, as you can see here in the background. Uh, my clothing, uh, saved clothes or clothing outfits were still saved correctly. But the issue I was having was they were not on my horse. I put them back on my horse, went out and rode off again, and then they would just go away. It does not show, give me the option to change outfits when on horseback. They also fixed an issue that caused players save outfits to be missing from their horse and wardrobe. 
uh, kind of like I said, this is supposed to be fixed, but today I have not seen a fix for this. It is actually broken. Mine was working fine until today. They also fixed an issue that resulted in players being uh, unable to save custom outfits, fixed an issue uh, that meant players were unable to call their horse, also horses with uh, golden cores to still gallop wearily, fixed an issue that resulted in players' horses being left behind after fast traveling. Also, they fixed a few things of the shops with Madame Nazar uh, resulted in items incorrectly sold uh, to Madame Nazar. Also, some other things that uh, resulted in players being able, unable to purchase the Gunslinger holster, uh, fixed an issue that caused the price of whiskey to be incorrect in the saloon, and just some other small things like that. Also, caused players to get stuck at their own butcher's table. Uh, one thing I know people have been reporting today that it shows a long delivery or a short delivery is only paying out $100. Uh, from what I'm aware, that it did not nerf anything. There's no mention of the uh, the, the roll itself being nerfed, uh, but the trader roll looks like it is glitched. It looks like it's showing only a $100 reward. I have not ran any of uh, the long or short deliveries today to find out if it's actually bugged and it's only giving you 100 bucks, or if it actually just is a visual bug. Uh, they also fixed some issues with certain coupons not being able to be used. Uh, fixed an issue that resulted in players incorrectly being able to fast travel from the wilderness camp before unlocking the fast travel pamphlet itself. Also, several other issues with insufficient gold alert on screen. Multiple instances of missing uh, help text in Red Dead Online. They've also added some new UI features for help text in there as well. They, uh, it kind of pops up on your screen today when you log in the first time. Uh, they fixed an issue that caused the maintain a prompt to incorrectly be missing. Also fixed an issue that caused the unlock rank prompt screen uh, on the season pass menu despite having already unlocked the rank. There is a lot of stuff uh, within this update. Like I said, there's several fixes that I didn't go over because like I said, I don't want to make the video way too long. But there's a lot of stuff going on with the day. A lot of bug fixes and stuff. It seems like a lot of bug fixes kind of happened since this update has come out. Um, but also a lot of bugs have been occurring in games. A lot of players reporting a lot of stuff going on. One thing I had was my character's uh, hair was like shaved on one side and long on the other. It was kind of a weird glitch. I'm not sure what was going on with that. And also, like I said, the uh, trader issue, a lot of people were saying that the, the trader long and short distance deliveries are only showing a reward of $100. And the issue I told you that I had with my outfits. Everybody may not have that. When I log back in, it may be perfectly fine. But um, I will say my outfits were not showing on my horse, even though they are saved and they are in, you know, if I go into, you know, my clothing itself, the outfits are there. But once I put them on my horse, I get on my horse and try to change them. It doesn't show I have any on the horse. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the new update. Let me know if you're having any uh, bug issues yourself. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.